France, meanwhile, is gearing up for a pretty hellish Thursday. As widespread chaos is expected, unions and protesters are all set to take to the streets against the government's very unpopular pension schemes under Emmanuel Macron. The changes that have been presented by Emmanuel Macron's government last week will raise the retirement age for people from 62 to 64 to claim their complete pension benefits. Trade unions across France immediately called for a massive mobilization against these changes, which is going to be the first time that they have united since the last 12 years, when retirement age was hiked to 62 from the earlier 60. They're demanding that the measures be immediately withdrawn, and they're describing them as simply unfair and unnecessary. They're being brought in to deny the workers their pension benefits after they work for a very long period of time. C'est tout à fait injuste parce qu'il y a d'autres moyens en fait de financer les retraites. C'est bien une volonté politique de, bah, de ne pas aider les salariés euh, du pays pour, pour, bah, pour ce système quand même qui était un système de solidarité. Et puis c'est aussi oublier que les retraités, bah, ce ne sont pas des personnes hors de la société aussi. Elles font aussi des choses. Elles sont importantes pour la société. An estimated 70% of all teachers in France are expected to go on strike. This would result in schools and colleges being shut. The transport and health sector is also expected to be disrupted. Most trains are unlikely to run today. While the Paris Metro has said that its services will be heavily disrupted. And flights are also reported to be cancelled. The strikes have been announced by truck drivers, couriers and delivery companies as well. Oil refinery workers are also stopping their work. The unions are reportedly hoping for over a million demonstrators in more than 200 cities across France. Intercity trains are expected to be the worst affected with warnings that almost all could be cancelled today. Staff at many theatres, music venues and banks are also expected to join the strike, while the police are bracing for protesters taking to the streets across the country. Now, the government, which has lost its majority in the general election last June, insists that it will not back down and has asked workers not to paralyze the country. Now, pension reforms have long been a controversial issue in France, with street protests halting reform efforts in 1995 and also successive governments facing stiff resistance to reforms that eventually passed in 2004, 2008 and then again in 2010. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.